Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and I'm really excited to share with you our latest blog site template that is part of our Design and Go collection. Uh, this modern blog site template is complementary to the marketing set that they're selling over at Design Aglow. Um, you'll see that if you go over to the Design Aglow site you can find this modern marketing set and it comes with a slew of stuff. Um, you can purchase that on their site and then come back to our site and purchase the blog site and you'll have the complete design solution. But today I'm going to go ahead and share with you some of the things that are going on in this template to kind of give you a better idea of, of what your options are and, and how this blog site actually works. So first thing I'm going to point out is uh, the background. The background is a graph that's optional. You can either turn it on or off. And if you do have the marketing set that they're offering over at Design Aglow, uh, I would suggest that you leave it on because it's going to match it really well. Uh, if you, if you want to upload your own background, that's an option in the back end. Um, you can also just add a solid color or a gradient in the background as well. So you do have some background options. Um, these color, colors and rounded corners match what's going on in that set really well, but if you wanted to, you can square up the corners, make them more round, you can change that blue color. Um, you can change any of the colors in here as far as the social networking um, and, the, uh, and the footer as well. So you don't, have to, you don't have to stay with those options. At the very top you have your logo. You can go ahead and upload a graphic or you can just type in your name or your, or your studio name. Uh, either way is fine. You have both options in the back end. This is our, our header at the top of our, of our homepage and um, this header auto plays. So we went ahead and put in the feature to either, either turn on or off these arrows. Uh, but this header is a great way to share some really big images and set the tone for the whole site. So um, you can get into the back end, back end upload these images and um, they're just going to go ahead and auto scroll through somebody, as soon as somebody gets to the site. Right under that header is the social networking icons. Now, we've added a bunch of social ne networking icons. You don't have to use them all. You can just use the ones that you are affiliated with. So your Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest. You'll see Pinterest right here and Facebook and Twitter. Um, whatever you do in the back end, if you just add the links to the to the ones that you use, those are the ones that are going to show up. If you don't add the links, they, the others won't show up at all. So you have a lot of options in there. You also have the option to have a live Twitter feed. So this live Twitter feed right here, um, is a great way to share with people that aren't following you what's going on on your Twitter and then they can go ahead and just click this right here to follow you so um, this is again optional and then underneath the Twitter feed we have our welcome text so welcome text is great uh, getting any kind of text on your home page is great for search engine optimization so even though this welcome area is optional I really recommend that you use it because it's great for search engine optimization welcome area doesn't have to just be used for a welcome area though I want to kind of give you some ideas that that you can use you can either make it the welcome area you could make it a special that's going on some sort of seasonal seasonal thing or some sort of big news item if you're gonna be somewhere or you're gonna be doing a workshop or, or something of that nature that you really want to call out this is a great place to get that text information right there and then under the welcome area you have four slots for what I call hot buttons so this is something that you want to graphically represent and call out and say hey this is important information and I want you to be able to click on these and get somewhere quickly so we we went ahead and set this demo up to have about us portfolio contact and proofing and you can basically put anything you want in here um, you add an image a title and a link and it'll take you to wherever you, wherever you link it so it could take you to an internal page it could take you to a blog post or it could take you externally to like a shopping cart system or, or, or a photo cart like our, our Venn photo proofing cart so um, you have options there to go ahead and put in four major categories you'll find that some people will put in like wedding portraits boudoir if they do a lot of different types of photography and that's a great way to segment and and get the portfolio up there right away um, at the bottom here you have your footer and this works as a widget system in the back of WordPress so you'll have a space where you can actually drag a lot of options over to your footer bar and it'll just populate them here you have four spaces so you get to choose any four things just for our demo we added a, a text area an archive area a comments area and a categories area but again you have the options in the back to to change them up and and, and put what you think is gonna work best for your your blog site so and then at the very bottom is a little a little search area so you can type in something and, and search for it it makes it easier to find um, now this whole home page is optional so you don't have to have the home page um, you could just go right into a a blog so if you're not looking for the home page you can just keep it off and just go right into a blog but I'm gonna show you a page that I think you're gonna be really interested in, in knowing about and that's our portfolio page so go ahead and click on this uh, portfolio link and it's gonna take you to a page that uses our product called blog show and blog show is uh, a free product that comes with this blog site 
So you can use it to create uh, thumbnail galleries like this and you can just create numerous pages. So if you have a lot of portfolio pieces that you want to put together, you can just create page after page and just keep adding blog show to it with different images. Um, and, and that's a great way to just build a, a solid portfolio with, with your best images right on the site. And you can link to them from the navigation or you can link to them from those hot buttons. Um, but this blog show is really flexible and we have a lot of videos online about our blog show and our support area. Uh, we even have some videos on uh, the Into the Darkroom website. Uh, but just to kind of give you a quick overview, you can you can have it where it has thumbnails like this. Um, you can have it go full screen. You can have it with no toolbar at all. So it's just this really clean slideshow with just arrows so people can click through and you can have it autoplay. Um, so it's got, it's got a lot of options and features in there that you can play around with and, and kind of get your portfolio up online looking really good. Uh, but the other great thing about blog show is that it is a bulk uploader. So I'm going to take you over to the blog and you're going to notice um, I'm going to scroll right down to a post that uses blog show. So you can take blog show and add a thumbnail gallery right into it. And not only is this bandwidth saving, but it's time saving. So it, it's not going to, it's not going to have to load every image before the whole blog site before the whole blog site loads. So it's going to save a lot of bandwidth. It's going to distribute it a little bit more evenly. But in addition to that, um, it's going to save you a ton of time. So WordPress has this one at a time kind of uploading mechanism. And so we built this to, to allow you to efficiently upload tons of images really quickly in both a time saving and bandwidth saving way. So blog shows a great tool to utilize. I really suggest you get familiar with it and you start using it for all your posts and all your pages. Um, so with blogs, with blog show, you have the option to do again, the, uh, use the thumbnails here, get rid of the toolbar, or you can have them just stack like a regular blog post. So you could just have, um, you know, the regular stacking images and, um, it'll, again, it'll just save you a ton of time. You're going to notice here that we have a sidebar in. The sidebar acts like uh, the footer where it's a widget based system where you just drag over items. So we, for this demo we put in a text area, categories, recent posts. And you can pick and choose what you want and you can just add stuff to your sidebar. The sidebar is completely optional. You can completely take it out and if you wanted to remove it, it would give you more area for larger images. So kind of a preference uh, if you guys want. Um, and then as far as uh, the rest of the branding and design goes, everything carries over to all these pages. Um, you can change the width of the blog. You, you have a lot of options, again, within the back end. But that essentially is the, um, is the latest design template that I wanted to share with you. And I hope that informs you and answers a lot of your questions about it. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact us through support. And there's probably more information that you can find on not only our support site, but on our intothedarkroom.com. So I hope that was informative and you liked it, and I appreciate you listening. Thanks so much.